standing nearby one of the most fascinating and famous objects of the gallery called Thirsty the Pleasure And here we have David Gustav, curator of Earth Sciences, an expert in paleontology, who is going to uh, tell us all about this particular uh, object. This is one of my favourite specimens in the gallery. It's an almost entirely complete large reptile from the lower Jurassic period, about 180 million years ago. And it's what we call a plesiosaur. And these are massive reptiles with these paddles, like four arms off the side of these enormous reptiles. They have these really characteristic long necks uh, and a sort of quite pointed head on the top of the neck. So they have these paddles rather than sort of fins like fish. So they would have moved through the water much like a sort of turtle, sort of swims with like oars in the water, or a penguin even swims through the water. So they would have been relatively fast and the fins would have actually been used to sort of give it speed through the water rather than a sort of tail fin on, on something like a shark or a whale. And the, this is a really important specimen, partly because it was found by students from Manchester University in 1960. So it's a fantastic example of, of what potentially can be done on fieldwork in Britain. Uh, and the other thing that makes it really, really important is it's the first of its kind ever to be discovered. So this is a really internationally important specimen, which means we have researchers from around the world uh, looking at this specimen on a very regular basis. So that means if, if a researcher thinks they've got a very similar animal uh, to this animal here in their collection, they have to come and look at ours to check whether the features are, are, are close enough to call it the same species or whether it potentially might be something different. Well, from your description, I even uh, uh, to, to call it a sea monster. But apparently it was a predator. It was absolutely a predator, yeah. Um, so it would have eaten all sorts of things, particularly uh, fossils called ammonites and belemnites. So ammonites are the ones with the spiral shells, which were a bit like squid. And belemnites, of, often the fossils look like bullets, but they were again very similar to squid, but had an internal skeleton. And they probably ate things like sh uh, a lot of fish as well. And some, very recently, have been found with uh, bits of broken up shells inside them. So that's led to the theory that some of them were bottom feeders. So they used to swim down to the bottom of the sea floor and sort of dig their face, their, their head, into the bottom of the sea floor and scoop up all these shellfish. And to actually digest them, they had what's called gastroids, which are these pebbles inside their stomach which help sort of bash up all the shells and, and release the food so they can digest them, M much like a lot of birds do these days. It's very impressive. Uh, I, I should ask one more, more question to you. Uh, this nice creature has a, a, a nice nickname, Percy the Pleasanter. Could yeah. you tell us why? Of course. Uh, so, um, so, so. Well, this is entirely down to the students and, and one of the lecturers here at, at Manchester University when he was found, Dr. Fred Broadhurst. And they spent sort of many a month uh, actually excavating this uh, fantastic fossil, actually in the, in the beach where it was found, or Hunts Bay in North Yorkshire, and also uh, at the university where they excavated a lot of the bones out of the, out of the mud. So the nickname Percy was given to the fossil by the students and, and Dr. Fred Broadhurst as well. Fantastic. What can I say? Welcome to the Manchester Museum. Thank you.